everyone and welcome back to another video cooking with Chef O. So check this out. Today I'm going to make you guys something very special so you could enjoy for a Sunday brunch or just for a breakfast at your pad. So I'm going to show you guys how to do my version of a French toast, but it's going to be a Mexican French toast. Uh, so let's talk about the ingredients. That's a lot of stuff going on, so don't freak out. Uh, we're going to do step by step, uh, but first let's go ahead and just uh, talk about our ingredients. So for this particular dish, um, we're gonna use uh, a lot of fruit as you can see, uh, a lot of bread as you can see, but uh, we'll get to that right in a minute. So we're gonna use one and a half cups of raspberries, one and a half cups of uh, blackberries, one and a half cups strawberries. I kind of uh, quarter them, okay? Uh, I got some just random fruit here. I got mango, raspberries, uh, strawberries, and uh, raspberries in here just for garnish uh, then we're going to use some almonds uh, for again for, for, for garnish uh, for our whipped cream we're going to use uh, two cups of manufacturing cream or uh, a heavy whipping cream would do fine we're going to use one fourth cup of uh, confectioner sugar or powdered sugar half a tablespoon of vanilla extract this is going to be kind of our topping for our, our souffle uh, French toast style of kind of like a garnish. It's just agave syrup. One and a half tablespoons of cinnamon ground. Two tablespoons vanilla extract. We're gonna use 11 whole eggs. I already got uh, the rest in here. We're gonna crack these and put them in here. So I got a bunch of bread here. So I wanna show you guys the difference uh, when you do this in your house and just in case you can't find uh, the regular size teleras or bolillos, which those are, those are more Mexican style breads where you can find a lot in your Mexican markets uh, or any place where they sell Mexican bread. So for this recipe, I went ahead and used this size. As you can see the difference, uh, there are two different sizes. Uh, if you're gonna use this size or you find these size, you're gonna go ahead and use only 12 of these, okay? But if you decide that you find these ones, these are much bigger only use six of these, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side because I already got ours here cut up. So I wanna go ahead and uh, cut ours up about a half an inch, okay? If they're stale, even better. Uh, it, it's gonna retain more of the texture we, we're looking for. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and begin and we're gonna do our, we're gonna mix our wet ingredients first. Uh, and let's go ahead and start with that. So like I said, I already went ahead and um, Crack some more eggs in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up the rest. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I don't know if my camera guy can see this. We're gonna go ahead and uh, mix that up in there. Low speed. We're gonna go ahead and just pour our heavy cream. Wanna make sure everything gets fully incorporated in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add the two tablespoons of vanilla extract in here. Okay. We're gonna add the one and a half tablespoon ground cinnamon. Let's go give this a quick little mix. We're gonna go ahead and add about a cup and a half of the brown sugar.
Great, so now that we have our mixture ready to rock and roll, we're gonna go ahead and just turn off our mixer and we're gonna do the next following step. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our raspberries, blackberries, and starberries. Just go ahead and just mix them up. No worry, we're gonna use this for uh, something else right now. I'll show you guys what it is for. Okay. So now we're gonna put our wet mixture into our dry ingredients. Just go ahead and pour it in there really slowly. We want to make sure we incorporate the whole mixture together. Okay. All right, we want to keep on mixing it. All right, so the next step is very, very important. In order for this to be successful, we have to let it sit. We need to let the mixture rest. Uh, at least for 30 minutes. If you can do it for longer, even better. If you can do it for overnight, even much better, okay? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna put this in our refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And um, once it's done and, and the mixture has sat there for, for a while, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the rest, okay? So we'll come back right now in 30 minutes. Hey everyone and welcome back. So our mixture has been in our refrigerator for 30 minutes, as you can see, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and butter our cake pan. Uh, you can use whatever you guys want, any type of mold. I'm gonna use this cake pan here and I got these ramekins, souffle ramekins I'm also gonna use. As you can see, I went ahead and just uh, lightly buttered and I dusted with the brown sugar so you could create that caramelized uh, texture to it, okay? So let's go ahead and butter our pan. You want to make sure you get all the sides as well, okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, add, we're going to add about, I would say half a cup of the brown sugar. We're still going to use some brown sugar to uh, pour some on top of our mixture. So that way when it's uh, baking and it's done, we're going to have the nice caramelized color on top of it as well. Make sure you get the sugar on the sides as well. Perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill up my ramekins first. About three fourths of a way up. Let's go ahead and add our mixture here.
you just smooth it out with the spatula. Now we're gonna add some of that brown sugar on top. So you might actually need a little bit more, if, if any. Now remember, when doing this dish, uh, first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven for uh, 350. So that way it's nice and hot and ready. So when you pop this in there, your wait time, you don't have to wait longer than you already been. So we're gonna bake our dishes for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, throughout the process, we're gonna cover it halfway through the, through the baking process. And then the other uh, remaining time, we're gonna uncover it. So we can create that brown crust I was talking about, okay? Okay, so again, oven's at 350. We're gonna bake it for about 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, we're gonna be checking in between uh, times, okay? So uh, we'll come back right now in a bit. All right, everybody, so our bread is ready. So let me go ahead and just take it out from the oven so you guys can see how it looks, okay? Just look at that. So as you can see, we have the nice brownish uh, from the brown sugar we used. It kind of got crispy up. Uh, the, the actual mixture kind of puffed up. So that's what we want to see, okay? So before we cut into this, I strongly suggest we let it cool down for about 30 minutes at least before we start the next process, okay? So uh, let's give it 30 minutes and we'll come back again. All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, it's, it's cooled down to a point where it's, it's cuttable. Uh, so let's go ahead and just finish it up. So what I always like to do with this, I like to give it more crust, uh, I like to crust the sides of it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. We're just gonna lay it right on top of that. We wanna, we wanna make that, you know, crust everywhere on the sides. So uh, we're gonna give that time right there. So in the meantime, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the whipped cream, okay? So let's go this side, okay? so. We're gonna use two cups of the manufacturing cream or heavy cream. Okay. Let's go ahead and whip that up. Let's go ahead and pour in our uh, half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. We're just gonna go ahead and let this whip up. We're gonna add our one fourth cup powdered sugar. We're gonna slowly turn it back on. All right, we're just gonna let that whip up. All right, so while our whipped cream is uh, whipping, we got our, our Mexican French toast on the griddle here. Uh, just wanna go with you guys for a few uh, quick notes. So. If you know you're going to do this, try to do it one day before. It's, it's a lot of work, but the results are going to be phenomenal. And I know your family members, when you do this, they're going to love you even more. So, uh, less time prepping and more time enjoying your time with your family. So, uh, at the end of the day, I know it's a lot of work, but it's going to be a great dish. So, um, So while our uh, French toast is uh, getting crust over here and our whipped cream is getting whipped, uh, we're gonna come back in about two, three minutes and uh, we're gonna go ahead and finally assemble it up so you guys can see how I present it to you guys, okay? All right, everyone, so as you can see, we're, uh, our bread here is nice and crispy. We got all over all the sides, okay? See that? Okay, so our whipped cream is ready. Now let's go ahead and, oh, I don't want to do that. 
Let's go ahead and play it up. So, I made some raspberry sauce uh, in one of my videos and it has some left over, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Go ahead, some of the whipped cream on top. And don't be shy with the whipped cream. Just go ahead and pack it on. We're gonna add our foods. Toasted sliced almonds and our agave syrup. Just a little drizzle. We're going to top it off with the mint leaf, some powdered sugar. And voila! How you guys like that? Again, I know it's a lot of work, but look at the results. Uh, you're gonna love it. Your family's gonna love it. Uh, at the end of the day, it, it's gonna be just an awesome dish for a Sunday brunch, uh, just to gather around with the family. So, um, hope you guys like it. Uh, please hit like, subscribe, uh, leave me your comments. Anything else you guys want me to do? Uh, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do it. Till next time. Bye bye.